Hello friends, we have installed Anaconda 64 bit. So here we can see our Spider, Jupyter Notebook, our PowerShell prompt, and our Anaconda prompt as well. We are going to Studio, click on it, so it will be loaded. When you open Spider, you will see the Studio, and on the bottom right, you will see the IPython console, and this is the version of IPython we are using in Spider. And here you will see Variable Explorer. So here, all the list of variables, their type, size, and the value will come pop up. And Help menu, so you can get help from here. So you can click on the tutorial and can read through a lot of tutorials. You can find it out. Just like if you need to Spider, just go through. This is a function in Python, so definitely the definition of a function. So you can scroll down and can read through whichever you want if you are looking for plotting some data or how you can use matplotlib and then how you can call other functions. It's a very good source to just get into. So if we are just plotting anything from graph, you can see it and the files will pop up like the destination here. We have said our folder is C user share. So all the files you can see uh, located here. So these are the things you can do. And on the left hand side, you can write your own code because you have a code with a hundred lines. So you can just write it here, then you can save the script as like a dot pi. This is the way you can save the pi folder. I will come this to later. So at this moment I just want to show you like how we can type something and can Executed just like I'm just typing print and then the string spider. So if you run it, how you can run it, just click enter. The spider will be uh, there. Are a number of packages are being installed automatically. We are calling to import one package which is called numpy. Let's see is being installed or not. So if I just type import on my IPython console and then numpy and then enter. I can see it's executed properly. I need a number of packages for geospatial analysis in Python, especially in Spider. Uh, I need to call those packages uh, for geospatial analysis. So let's check whether we have those packages or not. I need Shapely. I need Pyproj package. I need Fiona GDAL geospatial data abstraction library, which is a number of functions so that you can do all the geospatial analysis. It's a huge collection of resources. So we will go through that one. We will call all the all, most of the functions to do geospatial analysis and geopandas. There are other couple of uh, packages that we will install, but these are the packages we will install sequentially so first shapely then pyproj and fiona gdal and geopandas so when you will install these packages then our system will be ready so what is going on now at this moment if i'm just importing import shapely i don't have any module named shapely but when i ran import numpy line was executed properly in that case we need to install these packages first i will go to firefox and i will type python Packages University of California. Yeah, there are a number of Python extension packages. I will click on it, and this is the list of Python packages that you can download. It here you can find these hundreds of packages that you want to download. So, we are looking for five packages. We are going for Shapely. So, what I will do, I will click here uh, and then search, find in the page, or you can click Ctrl F. On the left bottom side, you'll see file in page, and then I'll click Shapely. It will tell you why we are going to use Shapely. So, you see, there are a couple of versions of Shapely here, but I will always recommend you to use a stable version. I'm going to use this one Shapely 1.7.0, CP37, CP37, that one. I'll click on it. It'll take me download and yeah, save file. I have downloaded already, and then I'm going to install my page. Approach. Not this one, not this one, the next one, yes, so this one. We have downloaded CP3737.1. Uh, I will go, I will be downloading iProj 2.6.0 CP3737M in MD64 will save file. So the next package will be Fiona. I'm going to download Fiona 1.8.13 CP3737M Windows MD64 will file. Yeah. And then I'm going to download GDAL, which is your 
spatial data abstraction library why we are going to use GDAL. GDAL is a very rich library for geospatial analysis so we will use a lot of GDAL as we have done with other packages so I will go to download GDAL 3.0.4 CP3737M win 64 will file the last package is uh, GeoPandas so GeoPandas will so I will recommend you to go for 0.6.2 this is the stable one and can be used for Python version 2 and Python 3 so this one is a stable one so we are going to use this one so now you can see we have downloaded all the required packages so we are going to install these packages respectively first shapely then pyproj then fiona then jiral and geopanda so you can go to this website and can download all the unofficial windows binaries for python extension packages so these are free so you can install it with a if function so we will go and install it we will go to start command and then we will go to anaconda 364 bit and we will open our powershell from base location is c user sharia my library is in a different location i need to change my location so where are my packages in anaconda 3 so go here go to c drive anaconda 3 folder go to library double click on it i will have site packages i'm going to copy this uh, location copy and then go to your anaconda powershell prompt so we have downloaded our packages here i need to locate this one at this point the powershell is locating this directory but we need to change that one so what i will do i will just change the directory so cd space and then i'll put that one c users sharia and download for your case maybe it will be somewhere else but try to find out where it is so when i will type it you see now my base is located into that directory because we have downloaded all our packages into that directory i'm going to install the downloaded five packages type space install space and then two minus click on two minus target like this space and then the directory so we are going to copy this link copy and then paste it here first and then space no dependencies double minus no space depths dependencies and then space no dependencies and then type shape and after typing shape click there my wheel packages will be located this is the way you can call your downloaded wheel file easily so i will click enter so what i did i missed one minus in between no depths so you need to put one minus here so that it should be looking like the same that you can see now our shapely has been installed properly then i'm going to install pyproj so i will type pyproj and then tap so it will look at my pyproj will file so again click enter so it's installing both of the packages installed successfully so i will delete this part call your previous command with an up arrow so up and down arrow will take you to that one so now i'm just uh, calling it up and then i will type fiona and then i'll click tab so it will look it to my fiona will file what is saying because i have downloaded it previously now it's saying me to upgrade because these two packages are also using fiona so it's better to upgrade so how you can upgrade so click on the up arrow key and then click left key to go here so just before no dates click space and then click two minus and type upgrade and then space the same thing if you click enter fiona package is installed successfully next we are going to install gdal this time i will keep upgrade because maybe if you want to also have gdal installed so it's better to uh, upgrade that one type gdal and then tap yeah click on it enter installing a gdal i have just installed gdal version 3.0.4 so another package that is required at this moment is geopandas so same line and then i will type geo and and tab it will be installed in two seconds all the required packages for geospatial analysis 
up to this point we have installed this is the way you can install many packages in future maybe we need raster radio for raster data analysis so if you just uh, click raster radio so it will take you there and then download the wheel file and just type this command pip install target and then you show your target location upgrade and no dependencies and then your wheel file install any of the wheel packages whatever you need if you need pandas if you need geo pandas and other you can download it and install it easily so now we have installed uh, all the five required packages and now i'm going to check whether I, I can call the function or not so i'm going to spider and then i'm importing shapely so it's working fine next package is Piper. yes it's imported perfectly the next one is fiona and see the red button whenever it's red button that does mean it's running something just like uh, in our console if you see the red circle as in the gram so you can see that one so import gdal you can type it in smaller letters it's fine gdal is imported import geo panda all these packages are being imported perfectly one more thing about spider this is the default color spider dark maybe some of you are seeing a different color than white but i personally uh, like the white background focus on my codes easily and it seems to be great i'm working in in a world environment so how you can change uh, the background color if you're happy with that use it otherwise how you can change it go to truths preferences and then go to appearance and then syntax highlighting theme from there choose spider this one yeah so this one is it i like this one previously it was just a uh, default one but nowadays is spider dark is the default one so apply okay it's telling me do i want to restart spider yes i want to restart spider I saw white now. In my IPython console, there's nothing here. You need to import those packages once again if you want to use that one. So just type that one import shapely pybroj. Yeah, so the same thing import Fiona. We are just importing all these packages uh, to do geospatial analysis. So from the next video, we are going to discuss uh, basic ideas about vector data, raster data, and how we can do basic stuff to intermediate and advanced stuff uh, gradually. Now we have already set up our environment. At this moment, we don't need any other packages, but if we need any packages, you can come back to this video and can download all the stuff. Yeah, thank you for watching and please like, share, and please, please subscribe so that I can make more videos for you.